Hello, my name is Doug Weaver. I'm a petroleum engineer and a partner with Rose and Associates, and I'd like to introduce you today to a great training opportunity. Rose and Associates, as many of you may know, has been around for over 20 years and are arguably the industry's leader in exploration and uncertainty assessment. And this is our most popular flagship course. The course deals with risk analysis, prospect evaluation, and exploration economics. Beyond issues such as price, as we're facing now, that affect oil and gas exploration and investment, uh, we're facing an even bigger, higher level challenge in oil and gas exploration. The blue bars on this chart are the amounts of hydrocarbons found by decade, going back over 100 years. As you can see, we're getting a diminishing pool of opportunities, obviously, uh, to evaluate. Uh, contrast that with the uh, lines on the chart which show an increased demand for hydrocarbons. So for our com companies to be profitable, we're gonna have to make some very wise investment decisions in this decreasing pool of opportunities. And the only way we can make those decisions wisely is to have correctly evaluated the opportunities that we place before management. Unfortunately, without applying the principles that we'll teach you in this course, uh, we don't have a great track record of making accurate assessments pre-drill of our exploration opportunities. This is one chart that shows uh, in blue uh, a predicted volume uh, against the black line, which is the actual volume for a sequence of 125 drilling opportunities. You can see we're off by almost a factor of two, or we're predicting twice what we actually find. And we can see the same assessment in a variety of different ways in company and after company after company that don't have a methodic process for evaluating their pre-drill uh, prospects. Uh, conversely, for companies that do have the systematic approach, uh, the results are quite different. And these are the techniques that we're gonna teach you in this course, how to be predictable so your management can make the best investment opportunities for exploration. So this is the content of our course. These are the topics and issues that we're going to discuss and, and spend some time on uh, to make you better at oil and gas assessment. Um, starting off, we'll have a basic overview of statistics. Um, that's going to be fundamental to our understanding and description of all the things we assess. We'll get into probabilities and distributions and which ones should we and should we not use uh, and how are those generated. We'll spend quite a bit of time dealing with how, would, how do we cope with uncertainty? How do we cope with our biases and how do we mitigate those biases to make us better estimators? Then we'll get into some estimating. We'll, we'll, come, we'll work through a couple techniques to do a volumetric assessment of petroleum resources. Uh, we'll get into expected value and how to calculate a chance of success uh, for our prospects. We'll bring those two topics, the volumetrics and the chance of success into an exercise we call RMAG. And then we'll get into some kind of more detailed topics. We'll get into decision trees and the value of information. How do we select the best plays to, uh, to explore? Uh, we'll go into economics. Uh, we'll talk about dealing with risk. And we'll find that we define risk a little different than we do chance. And so we'll, we'll find out how to deal with risk, the threat of monetary loss. Uh, we'll get into inventories and portfolio management. How do we rank our prospects so that we choose the best ones? Similarly, how do we go about acquisitions? How, what strategies and bid strategies do we need to generate to acquire the best acreage? A critical topic that we'll get into at the end of the lectures <clears throat> is performance tracking. How do we learn from uh, our experience when we drill wells? How do those results versus our pre-drill expectation make us as a company better estimators? And we'll finish off the course with a day-long exercise we call antelope ranch where uh, we bring all these techniques to bear and uh, we'll break the class into teams and we'll have some friendly competition for the capture of uh, uh, leases on the antelope ranch just to make a couple more comments on the antelope ranch exercise it really is to many the highlight of the class uh, but just a heads up bring your wallets because in this exercise and in several of the other exercise actual money is going to change hands the point of this is is that we want you to learn 
uh, how to make a profit so that you can help your companies make a profit. So we do conduct several exercises with, with actual cash. You may walk away from this course with a few extra dollars in your pocket. Uh, but again, <clears throat> the point of that is, is this is all for naught if, if we don't drive our companies to profits. So again, since the theme of the course is, is really uncertainty, management, and profitability, let me introduce you to the expected value equation. We'll use this equation throughout the course because it's a place that we can funnel all these other concepts into, whether they be volumes or chances or taxes or time value of money. All that can be represented in this equation. And we're going to use this equation as a cornerstone for coming up with an economic metric that we can rank opportunities on. So we can then leverage this equation from the individual projects we evaluate into the ranking of a portfolio. So this again is, is the essence of the course, that how do, I, how do I evaluate things correctly and then how do I manage their rankings? We're also gonna get into in this course, some of the things that your company as an organization uh, needs to do and may need to change uh, to effectively implement all the great stuff we're gonna teach you. Uh, first and foremost, we're going to need a commitment from management that uh, we're going to have, uh, this is going to be the techniques that we're going to use. Uh, we need a consistent system in terms of vocabulary, the process, the software, uh, everybody, and of course this is especially true for larger organizations, needs to be doing things similarly, at least with the same uh, frameworks. Uh, ideally, a central organization. Uh, where we can kind of keep an unbiased company-wide perspective, especially for things like portfolio management. And critical, uh, bring this up again, is performance tracking. We're going to need to archive our pre-drill expectation, our post-drill outcomes, be able to compare and contrast and learn things from those two sets of evaluations, and then pass those learnings out throughout the organization. So I hope I've talked enough about the course and, and maybe piqued your interest enough that you'll join us this fall. Uh, we have several courses scheduled. Uh, we call these open enrollment where anyone in industry is, is welcome to sign up. Uh, they'll be held in Calgary, Houston, and London this fall. Uh, certainly you can get more information on these courses at our website. Uh, so we hope to see you there. Thanks. <laughs>